So this is a watch that breaks all the traditional watch collecting rules, but yet it's a watch that fanatics have been able to get behind for years. It's quartz, it's digital, and it's dirt cheap. This is the Casio AE 1200WH. Let's take a look. So Casio is the one brand that no matter what watches you're into, whether it's Patek's, Rolex's, Breitling's, even something even cheaper, you probably have a G-Shock lying around somewhere in your watch box. It's a formula that isn't supposed to work, but yet it works pretty damn well. You see, a long time ago in 1946, the year after World War II had come to an end, the story of Casio was just beginning. It wasn't just in watches necessarily though. Tadao Casio, which I guess is where the name comes from because Casio Casio makes sense, and his brothers began producing Japan's very first electronic calculator throughout the 90s. 1950s, with 1957 being the birth year of the very first edition called the 14-A, capable of calculations limited to 14 digits. Eight years later, the 001 was born, except this time the calculator had a memory function, although this wasn't the most significant part of the story. The 001 was Casio's foot in the door on the world stage, and they started deliveries to the United States, all across Europe, and they expanded their global presence significantly. In fact, to this day, Casio is still producing electronic instruments all the way from projectors to label makers to even literal musical electronic instruments. In 1989, Casio's first step into digital watch domination began with the very famous F-91W, a watch you can still buy to this day, except obviously it's an updated version and it costs about $15, but it's very, very akin to the original. This watch was nothing short of groundbreaking, but it wasn't only popular with normal customers like you and I. Reports even suggest it became synonymous to the CIA as terrorist equipment, as they were often rigged by dangerous people with dangerous intentions as explosive devices. And so, after G-Shocks, Baby G's, and many more models, we've come to the watch we have in front of us today, the Casio AE1200WH. This is a blacked out version of the AE1200WD-1A, which is basically the same watch, except it comes on a bracelet instead of this black resin strap that I have right here. It was also incorrectly named the Casio Royale. I'm sure you've heard the term tossed around YouTube videos regarding this kind of watch. The name implies that Daniel Craig wore this in Casino Royale, but that's incorrect. He was actually wearing an Omega Seamaster, but the name fits because Casio, Casino, they sound similar enough. And so the name kind of colloquially stuck around. So here's the watch in question, characterized by a square shape with rounded edges and four buttons. On the back side, we've got a pretty plain steel case back that reads the model number, the AE1200WH, as well as the water resistance of 10 bar slash 100 meters. The case back is surrounded by four screws on the corners, making it very easily accessible should you need to do a battery change, which by the way, is supposed to be 10 years between. The watch clocks in at, get it, clocks in, <clears throat> anyway, the watch clocks in at 12.7 millimeters thick and about 18 millimeters lug to lug. It's 15.5 millimeters across in between uh, the four buttons. The lugs are 18 millimeters and they also have that signature Casio tapering we've come to all know and love. It looks great if you have it on the factory resin strap, but because of the squareness of the case, I find if you swap it out for something like a NATO or basically anything other than a tapered bracelet or strap, the watch face can actually look disproportionately large just due to the actual dimensions and the squareness of it. Speaking of which, let's move on to the resin strap. Now, this is the only drawback I find with this watch, although I can't really complain because dollar for dollar Casios are more functional than basically any other watch you can buy. The strap is a tad stiff and they do, however, design it in such a way that there's a curvature design near the lugs and that just helps it sort of wrap around your wrist a little bit easier and hug your wrist just a little bit better. Now, onto the watch itself. At first glance, you have four buttons, adjust mode search, as well as a light button, which does just that. It gives you a nice amber light on the dial. You've got a clock at the top left, which is programmable to any time zone, and we'll get into that in just a second. A world map on the top right, and of course, the main digital time at the bottom. So we'll cycle through the modes and see what we have. You've got five alarms, and the alarm does have a good volume, by the way, it's not muffled or anything. You've got a timer function for counting down, and if you need to count upwards, you also have a stopwatch function that's resettable with the adjust button. The watch can also store three pre-programmed time zones, New York, Paris, Lisbon, and then back to the actual GMT UTC original time. Um, in the world time menu, you can cycle through basically every single time zone. And as you do that, you'll notice that the shaded area on the map is moving across the globe from left to right. The cool thing about this mode is you can set 
any time zone quickly into your top left analog clock at the top. And you simply do that by pressing the top two buttons labeled adjust and light at the exact same time. So I'll show you right here. As you do that, it'll basically capture the time zone you're in and then display it to you in analog in the top left clock. All these features you can get for about 15 to $30, depending on which exact model you pick. The stainless steel model is a little bit more expensive, obviously, but at about a dollar per time zone, this is almost impossible to beat. You definitely need one or a few of these lying around. They make great functional pieces that you can bang and scuff up. And if you do completely scratch it, you can either buy a little bit of poly wash to buff out the acrylic crystal, or to be honest, for the exact same price as poly wash, you could just buy another one of these watches. So all in all, I find a tremendous value in this watch. There's absolutely no reason for you not to have this in your collection for $20, $30, sometimes down to 15. You get as much functionality as you could ever ask for. And uh, on top of that, it does look pretty sleek and they're very well known as well. Like if you're wearing this, everybody knows it's a Casio. It's just like G-Shocks. They have the signature Casio look to them. So that was the video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you have this watch. I'm curious to see what you think of it personally. And until next time, stay safe.